Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley. I go by Dark Beauty. Well, for my YouTube channel anyway. And I just wanted to introduce myself. I like to do a lot of hair and makeup. So today I'm just going to be bringing you guys a full face makeup tutorial. Um, just showing you how I personally do my makeup uh, for a dark skinned girl. So I hope that this video is very informative for anybody who is looking for how to do a full face on a darker skinned person. So um, if you do like the video, make sure that you subscribe, definitely subscribe and also like the video and share the video as well to anybody who might be having questions about how to apply makeup on a darker skinned face. Other than that, I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys get into, into the tutorial. But first, I want to apologize because um, I look ratchet right now. I don't have any makeup on at all. And also in the video, my hair is like really bad. I just took out some cornrows because I've been wearing a wig for a while. But um, anyways, it's just a makeup tutorial, so I wasn't too much worried about my hair. So just excuse my ratchet throughout the whole video because my hair looks a complete mess but anyway i digress i hope that you guys enjoy the video and also i will leave my social 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 media information in the description box and i will see you guys in the next upload bye okay guys so i'm gonna go ahead and get started with a freshly washed face as you guys can see I have some imperfections on my face, like, you know, scarring, pimples, etc. So, okay guys, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera because it takes me a while. So now I'm just going to go ahead and prime my face with this Wet n Wild primer. It's an oil-free primer. And I really do like this primer. It does give my face more of a poreless appearance and also assists in helping the makeup stay for a longer amount of time i do focus this primer primarily on my nose because it is the oiliest part of my face all right i'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids with this nyx eyelid base and i'm just gonna put that all over each eyelid it is gonna look kind of messy but i'm not much worried about that because it's going to be covered up by eyeshadow but this basically just makes sure that my eyeshadow doesn't crease and it helps it stay in place for a longer amount of time okay guys so i'm going to be using this diva color which is the beige and the sweetheart which is the brown i'm going to be putting this on my eyelids just to give my eyelids more of a neutral color to them covering up that eyeshadow base that i put on earlier all right so i'm going in with the color fashionista off of this palette just going in the um, outer corner of my eye and kind of into the crease a little bit just to give my eye more of a smoky look. Okay, now just going in with the colors Spoiled and Crushed from this palette. Just putting them in my crease just to kind of liven up the darkness that's going on in the outer crease. In the outer corner, I'm sorry. So I'm just going to go ahead and work that into my crease. Okay, so I'm going to be going in with this Hard Candy uh, Green with Envy eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to be using this goldish toned uh, shade here to go over my lids. As you can see, I'm just using a padding motion just to make sure that the eyeshadow shows up more pigmented on my lid so that it'll pop. And I'm just going to go ahead and work that into the other eyelid as well. Yeah. 
All right, so I'm just going back in with that Fashionista color that I used in the outer corner, just in case I covered any of that up with the gold color I used on my lid before. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this e.l.f. eyeliner pen to uh, go ahead and do my eyeliner. I'm gonna go for a wing tip today, and I love this e.l.f. eyeliner. It stays all day, it's a waterproof eyeliner. And now I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side as well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and conceal any of my blemishes with this LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Chestnut. And I'm just going to spot that wherever I feel necessary just to cover up any dark areas just to give my face more of an even tone. And I'll be blending this out with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Okay guys, now for foundation, I'm going in with this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous in the color 320. And I'm just going to apply this all over my face. And I love this foundation. Actually, I just found this. I've been using other foundations that have more of an orange undertone to them. And this one actually is a cooler tone and matches my skin a lot better than the other foundations I used to use. So I love this foundation. And it was actually really cheap. I got it at Walmart for about $6. Just using my Beauty Blender, I'm going to continue working that into my skin. This foundation is actually an oil-free foundation, so to me it feels like it dries matte and it stays all day. It's awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to be going in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealers in the color Fawn and Chestnut. I'm going to be blending those together to create my highlighting color. And this highlight is just going to go under my eyes, on, my, on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And I'm just going to be blending this out with my Beauty Blender. Okay, now I'm going to be going ahead and using this Ben Nye uh, translucent powder in the color Sienna to set my highlight. And I'm just going to be using this little wedge to pat that into my skin lightly. And after I apply this translucent powder, I'm just going to let that sit or bake as you would call it while I do my contour. 
Okay, so I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour and Highlighting Palette. I'm going to be using the darkest color here. I'm going in with my Beauty Blender and I'm going to be applying that to my contour areas. Uh, the hollows of my cheekbones, around the temples of my head and the tops of my forehead. And also I'm going to be taking that uh, along my jawline as well as along the sides of the bridge of my nose. Okay, so now that I've let that um, highlighting powder sit and bake, I'm going to go ahead and use this e.l.f. powder brush just to blend that out. And this takes a while. you got to make sure that you're blending everything out so that you don't have any harsh lines because blending is everything. It really is everything. So I'm just going to be going ahead and blending this out. Okay, now I'm going in with this e.l.f. blush palette. I'm going to be using the two colors here. I just showed you and I'm going to be taking that softly on um, my cheekbones, the apples of my cheeks, um, around my forehead, kind of in the same areas that I put the contour. And then I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. bronzer as well and just using that as a highlighter for um, my cheeks, my cheekbones. And then I'm also going to take that along the bridge of my nose and on my chin as well. Okay, so I figured that I wanted my um, contour to be a little bit more defined, so I went in again with that Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I used a, one of the highlighting creams and just put that underneath my contour on my cheeks just to bring that contour out a little bit. Okay, now for my lips, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this brown lip liner. I'm just going to go ahead and take that all around my lip. Okay guys, so now I'm going in with this Milani lip liner. It's like a reddish color. I can't remember right now at the top of my head exactly what color it is. But I'm just going to take this inside my lips. And after I um, cover my lips, I'm going to um, just blend that in with the brown that I used. Okay, so now I'm using this Milani lipstick in Black Cherry. And I'm just going to take this all over my lips. And then I'm taking this e.l.f. Um, matte lip color. Oh, I can't remember what color this one is either. I'm sorry, guys. And I'm just going to go ahead and take that in the middles of my lip. Okay, guys. So now I'm going in with this LA Girl Pro Conceal in a darker brown color. It's darker than the chestnut color. Um, and I'm just going to be taking my angled brush and just cleaning up around my lips in case I messed up at all with the lipstick just to finish the look off. Okay guys, and my camera actually cut off after this so I didn't get to show you guys the mascara, but here's the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.